Good day students, welcome to mathgoodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over logarithms and exponents. In the first part, let's take a look at the instructions. We have to change the exponential statement to an equivalent statement involving logarithms. Okay, so before we get started, let's take a look at the property or the main property that is going to guide our problem solving process for today. And that is the inverse property the inverse property of logarithms. Okay, so uh, what is the inverse proper property of logarithms? Um, the inverse property of logarithms is as follows. If you have log base a of a to the x, this is simply x. Okay, so that's the main property we're going to be using here. So just to help you understand this property right here, this property is a combination of two facts. First of all, logarithms and exponents are inverses. And then if you apply the power property here, you end up with x, okay? So let's say we have log base a of a to the x. If you apply the power property to this expression, you basically power down the exponent. And then you have log, I mean x, log base a of a. Now this are inverses, so this is a log base a and a are inverses, so they basically cancel each other out to so just one, and they have x times one, which is x, okay? So this is a summary of this process that I just showed you here. So um, you just need to have this property in mind while we are solving the problems um, today. Okay, so let's take a look at some problems. Number one, what if we are to express the following um, exponential statement? 125 equals 5 to the third as a statement involving logarithms. So in order to do this, you want to look at the base of the expo exponent, the exponential term. So the base is 5. So since the base of this exponent is 5, we're going to take log base what of both sides? We're going to take log base 5, okay? So let's go ahead and write it down. We have um, on the left side log base 5 and on the right side log base 5. Why did we choose 5 again? Because that's the base of the exponential term, all right? So log base 5 of 125 equals log base 5 of 5 to the third. All right, so next we're going to simplify the right side using the inverse property of logarithms, okay? So if you take a look at this expression right here, log base 5 of 5 to the third, what will this simplify into? It simplifies into 3, okay? So imagine these two are inverses, log base 5 and 5, they cancel out and you left with three, okay? So your final answer is log base five of 125 is equal to three. And that's your, your final answer. All right, let's uh, go ahead and try another example. <clears throat> now, what if we have the following exponential statement? Um, 4.9 equals x to the second power. All right, how do we do this one? Uh, remember the goal, first of all, is to take the logarithm of both sides, but what is the base of our logarithm going to be? Let's take a look at problem one. The base was five, so we took log base five. What's the base of this exponential term right here? The base is x, so what are we going to do? We're going to take log base x of both sides of our equation, okay? So we have log base x of 4.9 equals log base x of x to the second power. Now, if you take a look at the right side, using the inverse property of logarithms, these two cancel out, and our final answer is going to be log base x of 4.9 equals 2, okay? So um, that's that. All right, let's go ahead and try on another example. Problem number three. So for problem three, what if we have um, 
3.4 equals 5 to the b power. Okay, so we're going to attempt to express that um, exponential statement as a logarithm. Okay, so um, if we look at both sides of the equation, um, we need to take the logarithm, right? So we can apply the inverse property of logarithms. So what is the base of the logarithm that we're going to take? We're going to take the base of the base of the exponential term, which is 5 in this case, all right? So uh, what do we put on both sides? Just as we did in 1 and 2, we're going to take log base. Let me change the color there. Um, log base 5 of the left and the right side, okay, because that's the base of the exponent here. Log base 5 of the um, left term, 3.4, equals log base 5 of the right term, 5 to the b power. So we're going to apply the inverse property of logarithms to the right side. Log base 5 and 5 are inverse, they cancel out. So our final answer is going to be log base 5 of 3.4 equals b. So that is your final answer. Okay, now we're going to do um, the reverse. For the next three problems, we're going to change um, a logarithmic statement into an equivalent statement involving exponents. All right, so in order to do this, we're going to use another variation of the inverse property of logarithms, okay? So let's go ahead and write down the variation of the inverse property of logarithms that we're going to be using here. So inverse property of logarithms. Remember, we indicated that um, inverses and logs are inverse operations. Now, what if you have a, a base, let's say you have um, an exponential term with base a, a raised to a logarithmic power. So a to the log base a of x. Now, what you have happening here is you have an exponent being raised, um, a log logarithmic term being raised to a power. Okay, so this exponential term has a logarithmic power. Now, since exponents and logarithms are inverse operations, guess what? These two cancel out, and your final answer is simply x, okay? So this is the property we're going to be using for the next set of problems. Let's take a look at the first one, number four. Now, consider the following logarithmic statement, log base four of 64 equals three. All right, in order for us to um, simplify this, or I mean express it as a, an exponential um, equation, we're going to identify the base of a logarithm, okay? So the base of a logarithm is four. So what we're going to do is we're going to exponentiate both sides of our equation using the base of the logarithmic term as our basis of exponentiation, okay? So I'm going to have a big four, big four on the left, a big four here, and a big four. These are the bases of my exponent. Now I'm, I'm going to have a little log base four of 64, and then a little three right here. So I just made these two terms on both sides of my equation exponents, of or powers of the base of four, okay? Now, what can we do next to finish this off, to have this just be an exponential statement? We're going to apply this inverse property of logarithm. Now, notice what happens on the left side. Four log base four, these are inverses, so they cancel each other out. So you simply have 64 equals four to the third power, okay? And that's your final answer. All right, let's try another example. Problem number five. What if we have um, log base three of k equals nine? All right, so how do we do this? The base of our logarithmic statement here is three. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to exponentiate both sides using three as our base. So we have a big three on the left and a big three on the right, okay? And then we have a little log base three of k equals three to the ninth power. So these two, um, two terms on both sides of my equation have been exponentiated using three as the basis of exponentiation, okay? And if you take a look at the left side of my equation, I can apply the inverse property of logarithms, all right? If I do that, these two cancel out, I'll be left with k equals three to the ninth power. All right, so that's the final answer there. All right, so for the last two problems that we're doing, we're going to be finding the exact value of logarithmic expressions, okay? All right, so um, just before we start, we're going to be using the following um, inverse property of exponents, log base a of a to the x equals Remember what that is, it equals x, okay? So whenever the base of the logarithm matches the base of the exponential term, the power of the exponential term with the matching base um, cancels out with a log with the base and you always left with the power, okay? So the power is always the final result. So let's keep that in mind. Okay, question number six. What if we have the statement log it's not a statement, the expression log base 7 of 49. So what is the exact value of log base 7 of 49? In order to apply the um, inverse property, the base of the logarithm and the base of the exponent must be identical. This is 49 raised to the first power. The base of this exponent is 49, which is not equal to 7. So the question is, can I express 49 as a power of 7? And the answer is yes. We know 49 breaks down into 7 and 7. 49 is 7 squared, okay? So if I rewrite this um, expression as log base 7 of 7 to the second power, now I can apply this inverse property. These two cancel out, so your final answer is simply going to be 2, okay? So log base 7 of 49 is equal to 2. There goes your final answer. All right, let's uh, take a look at another example, the last one for this um, lesson. Number 7, what if you were to find log base square root of 3 of 27? Okay, so to do this, um, it's similar to the previous problem. We just have to... Uh, express the exponential term as an ex, the, uh, I'm sorry, we're gonna ex express the logarithmic argument as an exponential term with a base identical to the base of the logarithm, all right? So I have to express 27 as a power of rad three, okay? All right, so we're gonna use the factor tree to break down 27. So let's see what we can do here. Uh, we have um, 27. 27 can be broken into 3, 3 times what? 3 times 9, and 9 can be broken down into 3 times 3, okay? So what is the relationship between root 3 and 3? We know that root 3 times root 3 is equal to root 9, which is equal to 3. So we can break this further. By all means, this can be broken down into root 3, Let's write that again. <clears throat> root 3 times root 3. And this can be broken into root 3 times root 3. And this can be broken into root 3 times root 3. So 27 is basically root 3 raised to the what? Root 3 raised to the sixth power. Okay? So that's exactly what we want. We want to express the logarithmic argument as an exponent with a base identical to this logarithmic expression here. So we're gonna have log base root three of root three raised to the sixth power. 
Okay, so these two cancel out, and your final answer is 6. So that's that. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates to other math tutorials such as this. If you have any questions or would like to request any tutorials, feel free to include